Hello guys, Kevin here, State and Coltrack Insurance. Many of our clients and prospects have been asking lately, what are we seeing as far as the truck insurance prices? Um, and my answer is always, you know, state by state specific. We're in 17 states, um, East Coast and then Midwest, Indiana and Illinois and Texas and California. So when you're starting a brand new trucking operation, depending where your business is located, where you reside, because that's where you'll have to register your company and that's where the truck's going to be garaged and parked. Um, that's going to have a big impact on your truck insurance price, especially if you're a new venture, as well as if you've been in business for several years. So today I want to share with you um, the latest quote that we presented last week. It was a new venture, new owner operator starting in Tennessee. And um, here is the quote we send them. So as you see, this quote is through Progressive Hawaii Insurance Corp. Interestingly, that is Progressive's name in the state of Tennessee. It's Progressive Hawaii Insurance Corporation. Um, and um, this guy is going to be doing uh, flatbed, so you know, general freight, flatbed, maybe some machinery, uh, building materials, you know, pipes, lumber, um, stuff like that. And his total premium, and this is one truck, just one truck, uh, power on at the moment, he's going to be adding trailer later on. So it's that 1 million liability, 100,000 cargo, and then physical damage for the truck. So as you see, Progressive is actually giving, um, and that discount is always 15% discount. So if you can pay in full, and you know, for this guy, it's going to be $22,614 if paid in installments. And that's where um, the payment plan comes into, comes into action. So his best option is 11 payments with 16.67% down. Um, the total would be 25000 Six hundred. I'm sorry, twenty-five thousand two hundred sixty-nine dollars, with a down payment of four thousand two hundred seventy dollars and sixty-eight cents, and then nine plus one pay. So basically, ten payments of two thousand one hundred four dollars and seventy-six cents, meaning it is eleven payment plan. Or if he was to start this policy, let's say August fifteenth. Um, it's a 12 month policy, so pays the down payment plus 10 payments. And then in July of next year, he's going to have no payment because in essence, the down payment is paying for the first and the last month. Um, and that first option that Progressive's quote shows always shows the EFT, EFT payment option first. That's um, electronic funds transfer, otherwise known as ACH. Um, because yes, there is that 5% discount if you set it up on auto pay. So when you call in, when this guy calls in and wants to make a payment, you can pay that down payment by Visa, MasterCard or Discover. And in addition, we'll need his routing number and account number to set it up on auto pay because auto pay gives that 4270 down, 2104 per month. If he wishes to um, make those payments directly through Pro to Progressive, or through his um, online banking bill pay functionality, the 5% discount is being removed and that would be um, the down payment would be, as you see your 11 payment option, if he makes payments by mail or pays online, is 4,491 with monthly payments of $2,222. So as you see again, 4,270 versus 4,491 payment wise, 2,104 versus 2,222 dollars. So always, and again, if you have that option and ability, always sign up for auto pay discount because that's going to save you additional 5%. Um, you know, it's not tens of thousands of dollars, but still, it comes up to several hundred dollars through the through the uh, term of the policy. And again, you see there are, you know, there are other payment options. You can go with the higher down payment and then have nine or maybe even five payments. Um, very few customers choose to choose to do that. 
because um, yes, the down payment, the upfront cost is you know one of the important factors getting into this business. And as far as um, let's just take a look. So, and again, this is Tennessee quote um, for the privacy reasons we you know crossed out the company's name and address. But he's par parking this truck at the zip code 37129. And so even within the same state, the parking garaging zip code, it'll, it will have a different effect on the truck insurance pricing. And, and then again, the general general rule of thumb is that uh, if you're based in a big metropolitan area like you know Memphis or Nashville, um, then yes, the premium's probably gonna be slightly higher versus if you're somewhere in suburban or rural areas where there's not as much traffic, not that many accidents, um, because the insurance companies, they have data for every single zip code in the United States, and they know how many claims and losses historically happened in that particular zip code, and that's why the price, it can also differ by several thousand dollars, and I've seen where it's the same city, you know, it can be Nashville and south side of town might be cheaper than the north side of town. Again, I don't know it for a fact, just using this as an example. And let's take a look. So again, the price, uh, 25269 It is kind of on the higher side for the new venture because Tennessee is one of the um, cheaper states as well as North Carolina when it comes to trucking insurance for new owner operators. So that 25K is a little bit more expensive and it's because, um, so the driver, Anto, you know, let's leave his name as, as Anto, um, born in 1971, so he's experienced, um, he's got over three years CDL and Progressive will give a discount if the driver has over a two year CDL experience. I mean, if it's two years or 10 years, it's still the same discount. But if there's a driver who's got less than two year CDL, and again, Progressive is one of the very few insurance companies, they will accept drivers with less than two years of CDL experience. Typically, the industry norm in the trucking insurance, um, two years is that mark where some insurance companies take like Northland, Canal Insurance, National Casualty, AIG, they will not even, <clears throat> excuse me, consider you if you don't have two year CDL experience. So this guy is, um, you know, two year CDL, you know, he's, he's more, you know, he's older than 25 because age is the other factor. If you have somebody who's under 21 or under 25 because of the young age, even if they had the CDL for a couple of years, the price is gonna be higher. But look, he's got three points. Um, and I know when we pulled his MBR, you know, he has at fault accident which is automatically three points. And then you know, sometimes some speeding violations or some other violations can also result in three points. And uh, most insurance companies, they have the three year look back. Uh, when it comes to accidents, um, some can be disputed as long as you have at least one proof and it needs to be you know, a paper document, either a police report so in this case, if he could have presented a document, let's say a police report where it shows that he was rear-ended, that accident could have been disputed because sometimes um, what happens, the MDRs, they don't necessarily show the accidents because for example, if you had a comprehensive and collision claim where let's say, you know, you hit a pole or a deer or there was a hail damage, that would be comprehensive and collision claim which is usually re reported through uh, Clue Reports, which is the claims report, and LexisNexis is one of the largest um, one of the largest sources and companies that actually pulls data for various insurance companies. And Progressive uses LexisNexis. So in this case, that accident didn't show up on MBR, but it was showing in the Clue Report from LexisNexis. We asked if it could be disputed, police report, or a letter from the insurance company, because that's a other option is the letter from the insurance company where they can just state, hey, there was a claim, you know, there was an incident, he had a light pole, but you know, he's not liable. So that way this accident could have been disputed. Uh, but again, in this case, it was a valid accident. It was his fault. It could not have been disputed. And, um, and that drove the price of the insurance up. Um, but if, for example, he had like zero points, 
this $25,000 quote probably would have been in that 17, 18,000 range. For new ventures, at fault accidents or um, severe violations have a huge negative impact. And it costs anywhere from extra four, five, up to seven. I've seen as high as $8,000 per year per one violation. So again, the, the quality of the driver is very important. And you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. If, um, if this is the only driver you can get, um, and, and you know, in this particular scenario, the owner is not the driver, he's hiring this guy, uh, paying him, you know, paying him hourly. And um, according to the owner, you know, this is the one, he, he, he's, he was the only guy who, who was signing up. And, um, and again, because he was probably declined by some other larger carriers, because that's where some other bigger trucking companies because of the driving history, they would not hire somebody with at fault accident. And again, it's case by case, company by company specific. And let's see, so the coverages he's got, it's a 1 million liability, it's that combined single limit. Uh, and, and as we always explain, the liability is the most expensive part of the trucking insurance, $18,508 per year. Uh, he rejected uninsured and underinsured motorists. He rejected medical payments. Uh, probably not not very prudent, but you know that's what the applicant wanted. Um, and again, those additional coverages they just cost maybe extra hundred, hundred fifty dollars. He's got comprehensive and collision, and you know comprehensive that's your um, you know, hail damage, truck is stolen, hit a deer, hit a light pole, collision. That's where you have an actual accident. So collision portions, 4,286. Comprehensives only 782. 100,000 cargo coverage with $2,500 deductible. And that premium is 1623. And as you see, the total makes up $25,269. And here are the commodities that this guy's gonna be hauling. Um, like I said, it's a flatbed. So lumber, wire, machinery, paper, you know, other paper products. And uh, the truck that it's, he's going to be operating, 2018 Kenworth, stated value $45,000, mile radius 500. Um, and again, you see the con collision deductible, collision premium portion 4,200, um, comprehensive 782. And um, Progressive and other insur insurance companies, they always so he doesn't have a trailer at the moment. He's going to be getting later on in the next week or so. And um, so the system recognizes that um, there's actually going to be a trailer, even if you're power only, but you will be pulling some kind of trailer, either your own or um, trailer where, where you'll have trailer interchange agreement. And uh, the system's adding actually the liability premium portion to this quote, which is $533. So, for example, if he were to come and say, hey, I got this now flatbed trailer, please add it. So that liability portion will be about $533 where he, when he adds the actual VIN number for the trailer. And then depending if he needs physical damage, that also would be included and listed here with the actual VIN number, similar to what you see under the 2008 Kenworth construction. Um, and as you see the discounts, he's getting that electronic funds discount transfer. Uh, the gentleman also applied for a smart haul ELD discount where Progressive will give you a 5% discount for a new venture as long as you have ELD device, which is mandated for trucks that are 2000 or newer. So that already has been applied to the quote. He's going with Motive, which is um, one of the most common and popular ones in the industry. And um, so that's pretty much all I have for today. And stay tuned. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Bye.